All right, guys, we're going to show you how to properly inspect a brake chamber. You on out there? All right, let's get this thing moving. All right, make sure your truck brakes are set. Air needs to be supplied to the trailer. So red knob in, yellow knob out. All right, today, guys, we're going to talk to you about how to properly inspect your brake chamber on your trailer. Bill's going to talk to you about the tools you need, then we're going to get started. Hey, right, this is a caging bolt. Most of the time when you buy a brake chamber, uh, it is already caged and this bolt will be sticking in the end of it. Um, this is just a regular half inch drive flex head ratchet. And this is a three quarter uh, deep socket made especially for this. I bought this off the Matco truck. I don't remember how much it was. I think about $30. Um, it's very useful when caging the chamber off when you've got this bolt and the nuts run all the way down here and you don't have to have a re uh, regular wrench on it. Uh, I guess we're ready to go under the trailer and show you how to inspect the brake chamber. All right, guys, let's go do it. All right, guys, we're underneath the trailer. I'm at the front of the trailer looking toward the back. You can see the brake chambers. Um, here's one. And there's the other one. We're gonna be focusing on this one here. And Bill's gonna show you what to do. Okay, on your brake chamber, uh, with your brakes, if you've got your brakes set, uh, you can look in this hole and there's a spring in here. This is the one everybody's scared of. Uh, this is the one that uh, many people have died from by removing this clamp. Uh, on the older style chambers, they had a clamp similar to this one where you could take it apart here and service this end of it. Uh, now, they put a sealed clamp around it and you cannot take this clamp off and remove this. Uh, basically, a, a dummy feature to keep you from killing yourself. Um, if this spring in here is broke, a lot of times you can take your finger and stick in here and, and feel pieces of it moving around. You can take and bump it, and a lot of times you can hear it. Uh, you take a flashlight and shine up in there and, and visually inspect the spring and make sure it's not broke. Um, if you've got any kind of air leaks, um, it'll be on your chamber. There is a service hole on it, a weep hole on it, as they call it. And you can replace just the diaphragm in them. Myself, I would rather just replace the whole thing, diaphragm and all. To do so, uh, you would have to cage the chamber off, which use your caging bolt, which if you'll look in here, there's a, a line or the gap or the hole where this goes into, and then you turn it a half a turn or a quarter of a turn to the right. That locks it into place. And then you tighten the nut down and you take your big socket and stick on it. and turn it until it bottoms out. And when it bottoms out, then uh, you can proceed to the next step, which is backing your brakes off on your slack adjuster. And when you back them off, you'll feel it bottom out when your brakes are all the way in a relaxed position. So that means air supplied to the trailer. Right, with air supplied to the trailer. Uh, you take and back the brakes off. When you feel it bottom out, and keep turning and you can watch your slack adjuster pull the rod off the back of the brake chamber because it's got a smaller spring on the back side of it. It's not as dangerous, but it still will hurt you. But you back your brakes all the way off and keep turning until your slack adjuster bottoms out, which means the rod will be pushed all the way out. Uh, then you can take this clamp off. After this is caged and that's done, you can take this clamp off and remove it replace it and your diaphragm at the same time. You want to also listen for air leaks in your air hoses going all the way back to the valve. Make sure you don't have any chafing on your air hoses. They're all secured. And uh, I reckon that's it. All right, guys. Now you know how to inspect your brake chamber. Check for the spring on the inside. If anything needs to be replaced, how to cage it off, make it safe to service. Good luck.